Hello. Welcome to the shop. I'm Doug. Welcome. Sorry, I make you dizzy. Hello. Hello, hello. Look at my mess. Welcome to my shop. It is a disaster. Full beast mode. Look at this SOB. The 21 degree rigid framing nailer. And I've never used it yet. This is the official first use, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, 21 degrees, so I think the thing with the degrees and the angles is how tight of a spot you can get them into. So the tighter the angle, the higher the angle, the more of a corner situation you can get into if it's bent back the more it's bent back, the tighter of a corner type thing is what I gather as I am no carpenter, no framer. And uh, I don't know, I've always wanted one, you know, I've fortunately I never even bothered to get air powered ones. I never really got into them. So I just skipped right over those and went right for the battery powered ones. But rigid, oh, like always, they're very good. They're, they're really, really good. And this I have not used yet, so I can't say for sure. But if it's anything like that finish nailer, that 16 gauge finish nailer, that thing was friggin' beast mode. That thing was real powerful. So I have a cool demonstration, I suppose. For a first time, I have two by four, a ton of four by four, six by six. Oh, hell yeah. That's a beautiful piece of lumber right there. Hell yeah, so let's see what we got. Let's see. I have been sitting on this thing for like two weeks with no time. And today is the day. The time has come. Oh man, so I have been addicted to oak. It's a trip. I am getting bad where I see a nice pallet I can spot an oak pallet a mile away and then it's like bothering me until I get back to it to tear it apart like I want I want the oak give me the oak so anyway how to load this thing I've got a huge haul of some of the boards down here from today I've been stashing them under my workbench and then like pulling the nails out and stuff I'm I really try and do it all on break and like right now, everybody's gone. I am the, the only person probably in this entire building. Well, no, but close to it. Close to it. But yeah, these are some fine oak. I mean, some of them are cracked and they all have holes. But I will actually take my time and literally punch and pull out every last nail. I've been doing it like crazy. And to me, it's worth it because I just bought a oak board exactly about this size but longer and god it was like friggin 12 dollars a foot it's it's no just so expensive i mean I'm, i need like 50 feet of it and i'm looking at like 12 bucks a foot I'm like, oh boy <laughs> yeah so uh i have been scoring oak pallets like crazy and um that's a story for another day Let's load this thing. So it's probably very similar to the finished nailer. Let me double check and make sure we're in frame as always. This is the old routine. I always want a taller tripod. I keep getting them taller and taller. And I also got another wireless mic. My third one, it won't connect. I don't know what the heck is going on with these wireless mics that will not connect to my Samsung Galaxy 8 Plus, which is like a, you know, pretty modern top of the line phone. It's starting to get annoying. This is the third time. They just will not connect to my phone, so I don't know. And I really want a cordless one, but. So, probably pull this back. I don't know if it'll lock or not. Sometimes they lock, sometimes they don't. I suppose reading the instructions might have been a good idea. <clears throat> yeah, 
21 degree round head nail. And two inch, three and a half inch. That's a big nail. Three and a half inches is a big nail. 89 millimeters, yeah. And just like the other one, this has that adjustment for the trigger where if you wanna bump fire it or have like a bit of a pause, minimum maximum okay so the minimum is two inches and the max is three and a half and that's really pretty big so it's weird that okay it's a 10 gauge 10 gauge nail i wasn't sure about that actually it is a 10 gauge nail and the little slot there's like something of a t back here but you got to make sure you get the head in or it won't load properly. You got to get the heads right in that T-slot. Okay. So this is weird. I, I, I guess it's good. I guess, <laughs> I guess it's loaded. Okay. It's a little different loading system. It's similar, but it's not the same as the framing nailer. I mean, the uh, finished nailer. But let's get cracking. Let's see what this thing's got. I'm excited. I am not going to lie. I am a little excited right now. Okay. I have some MDF. This stuff is a trip, just like particle board and glue. All right, let's make sure we're going to get it all. We're going to get all this one. All right, so I do not see the power setting like the finished nailer has. Uh, in the back, that finished nailer actually has like a plus and minus and a slide adjustment. Honestly, I'm not seeing anything of an adjustment. What is this? I wonder what this is. I should have read the instructions. <laughs> I believe this is just must be a handle because it doesn't look like it's attached to anything. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that's just like a handle. I don't know, but here we go. Let's do it. This is probably something of a depth stop perhaps i don't know oh i don't know actually i really i best not do too much turning and twisting without the instruction manual i didn't bring the manual like an idiot but that's your that's your boy that is your boy fire in the hole whoa it sparked did you see the spark so it definitely sunk it. It didn't like blast, blast it, but it sunk it all the way. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. That is so powerful. Oh my God. It's like they're super glued together. Oh my God. That was tight. Holy smokes. Wow. Wow. That is definitely powerful. Go get a little against the grain. Boof, it sparked again. It sunk it. It completely sunk it. Holy smokes. Wow. I mean, I don't know. What what can we challenge this thing with? I do actually have oak. Here is some. Ah. sacrifice an oak board well this one's all busted up anyway i swear if you if you like needed to buy an oak square this big it would probably be like nine dollars it is just ridiculous okay reframe let's see if we'll blow through this oak four by four an oak four by four oh hell yeah wow Whoa, it almost blew it right out of my hand. It didn't sink it only because of the way I was holding it. 
that there was no like stabilization or else it would have sank it that had some power like i was trying to hold it like this it almost took it right out of my hand oh what happened did i break it already my third shot i wouldn't be surprised nope i probably just wasn't pushing hard enough yeah yeah what a beast what a gorgeous oak board <laughs> Look at that beautiful oak. Okay. Four by four. I didn't bring her all the way out for nothing. Even though I'm pretty sure it's just gonna like sink it, you know. It's just gonna, it's just gonna sink. But <laughs> go right in the knot. Okay. Damn! Gone. Buried it. Hmm. Let me get something a little something to something to beat up a little bit. One moment, please. Alright, just a bunch of scuzzy wood from the shop's cribbing. Every now and then we have to uh, build cribbing and do rigging, and sometimes we need some wood. So we do have a bunch of wood in the machine shop and that's why it's all black and dirty like this has been used here for 30 years. If we were to jack up, say a forklift or a heavy piece of machinery, we'll actually put this underneath it as a jack stand type thing. All right, so here we have a big ugly stack of oak, I think. Let's see what we do, Let's see if it'll stick them all. Oh yeah, it didn't go through because the nail's not long enough, but it sank it. It friggin' sank it. Holy shit, is that stuck together good. I can't even really pull these apart, and I'm getting like a lot of leverage. Wow. That is intense. Wow, I can't even like get that apart. Pretty cool though, definitely. What a gorgeous board. I gotta stop ruining these nice boards. Look at that board. I don't know what that is. It is, it feels like plastic. It is real plasticky and shiny and smooth. I can't explain it. It is, what in the hell kind of wood is that? I really, oh my goodness, I'm totally out of frame. Oh, that sucks. Did I even get any of that? Ay, ay, ay. Check out this wooden board. I am losing it with these pallet boards. I wonder what the heck this is. It is so unique. It's like gorgeous. I don't know. It just looks like crap from a foot away. But when you look up close, it's like incredibly gorgeous. What the hell is that? It's got to be some kind of hardwood. I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know. I think I might have another board like this at home to research it. Uh, I don't know. It's got such a weird end grain, too. Half of this is video I probably didn't even get. But anyway, full beast mode. Now, this one, I don't believe is oak. No, this is just pine or something piney in nature. Something that needs to be spanked. Kaboom! Oh, yeah, Jesus, hell yeah, so I ain't no carpenter, but I may build a shed and some other stuff. You know, I don't really use framing nailers, and sh but I wanted to just have one. Oddly enough, I was thinking about maybe doing, start doing giveaways. If I could get somebody that could drum up the most subscribers. I would have a giveaway and ship them something really nice like this or something I don't use that much. That's really sweet. 
Get the sweet tool that don't get used. A little giveaway. That is really tight. Oh my goodness. That is so tight. Huh. And there's very little nail that made it through. These are pretty short little nails. I only got the two inches. Full beast mode. I do not want to shoot my workbench with that. Rigid rules. You'll never be disappointed with the rigid. They're always good. It really, I've, it doesn't matter what it is. You won't be disappointed with rigid. No, sir. Look at this mess. But it's quitting time. To the basement. To the basement. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to be making videos like crazy. So we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.